the weather this time of year in the south perfect fall football weather and we've got the roof wide open here at mercedes-benz stadium in the heart of georgia hello again everyone brandon gordon along with charles davis and charles we take a look at this falcons team as they interplay they come in playing pretty good football winners are four of their last six games meanwhile for the visitors here the cowboys the first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And not much happening on the return as we'll get this to about the 23. And the Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that what sunk them last week resolves itself this time around. Yeah, he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Well, this defense for the Falcons, they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Now Prescott. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. So the Falcons make their way out behind their new quarterback for 2024. Signed back in March, the veteran Kirk Cousins. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Dancing to his left. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys offense led by their running back headed out for the second possession. As we take a look at the league leaders in receiving touchdowns, he is right up there amongst the best in the NFL. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And their opening drive, that ended with the interception. Fortunate, though, it didn't lead to points. It didn't lead to points, and because they kind of got away with one, maybe you come back and throw something similar again to show that you're not afraid, that you're not going to back down, and take your shot. Let the defense know that you're going to be there all game long. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. C.D. Lamb is intended target, and it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. You talk about this Falcon defense. Into this game, they're ranked number 22 in the NFL. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. And the Cowboys are going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Man open. That's Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They go play action. Cousins. And he'll find McLeod on the right side complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. On first and 10, it's Robinson. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Here's Cousins. That's complete to Mooney. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. To throw is Cousins. Got London on a slant. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. Ball on the 8, second and 2. Throwing is Cousins. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Darnell Mooney, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they are a game under 500 now following the loss a week ago. And this is a team, Charles, that just has not been able to string victories together. Yeah, they're certainly going the wrong way, aren't they? Because it looked like they had things pointing in the right direction, but now they've lost two straight, and that means this game is vital. Extremely important, because if they fall two games below 500, the road back into playoff contention, awfully difficult. Now Prescott. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports.
second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On the run, it's Dowdle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Prescott now. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 23, here's second and a couple. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Here's Prescott. And his pass incomplete. Fair to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that touchdown, Cowboys. Cavante Turpin from 10 yards out. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Falcons offense and running back B. John Robinson set to take over once more. And they've used him quite a bit in the passing game as you take a look at the NFL leaders and receiving yards by a running back, and he's right there in the mix. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Third and five. Now Cousins. A coverage sack took too long to get rid of it. Micah Parsons drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Taking it about the 16. The 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. 
So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Eluding the pressure right. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. And he's got his man in stride, complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. A running play, it's Dowdle. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Prescott to throw it. This will be caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here's Prescott. Now he's got it. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Dowdle is in. Touchdown, Dallas. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Aubrey now for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Now Cousins. And this will be caught by Mooney. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Cousins now. Checks this one down to Robinson. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. 
Final play of the half, Cousins. Back to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. Okay, all right, Brandon. Thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. The point of this game, we skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Falcons offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. On play action, Cousins. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he is going to have a Falcons first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Well, part of their struggles in the first half was their inability to convert consistently on third down. But how about this well-designed play? Gave himself plenty of options and able to get the hook up and keep the drive going. Short throw caught by Pitts. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he'll get this up to midfield. Cousins now from the 50. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Pitts. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Cousins again. Over the middle, that's caught by McLeod. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. A give left side to Robinson. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Again, it's Robinson. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Throwing Cousins. His throw incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. From the gun, here's Cousins. Forced out to his left, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Two knocks this one through the post, and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. 
Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Ball on the 30 now. Here, second down and seven. Looking to throw. Prescott. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Prescott from the gun on third. Steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that, wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They go play action. Cousins. Crossing round and complete. He's got Pitts. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. To throw is Cousins. Over the middle, caught by London. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Robinson on a give right side. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This second and four. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Cousins. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Darnell Mooney with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 17-14. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, 
They almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And some room to maneuver. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 62 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They run again with Dowdle. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Credit the tackle to Kentavious Street, the product of NC State. Here's second and ten. Prescott on play action. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Ebon, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. And he slings one that's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Prescott. Being chased out left. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 22-yard line. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. Now Prescott. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. They run here with Dowdle, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Rico Dowdle with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Falcons offense and Kirk Cousins getting ready for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. A gain of three, second down. To throw, Cousins. 
into the hands of London. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch, good enough for a first down. Cousins to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Robinson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And his throw here is incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Throw left side complete to McLeod. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Here's Cousins. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Now Cousins. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Cousins to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Cousins. That is incomplete. And a great game comes down to this. Time for one play, and they've got to get it in the end zone. And I want every cover guy I've got in the game on defense, every extra defensive back who can make a play on the football. So whether it's nickel, dime, quarter, whatever you want to call it, I want five, six, seven guys back there. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Partner, what a finish to this one. I mean, this offense, they had it down there inside the red zone, but ultimately couldn't execute that final snap to find the end zone. Yeah, and they're going to walk away from this one, and you know what's going to go through their heads the entire time until they get to play again. If we could only have that final snap to do over one more time, maybe with a different play call. So for Dallas, they level their mark at 4-4 four and four on the year, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they'll lose an important one here as that drops them to 5-4 and four on the season. And yeah, they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.